Barry's network was over? Nope. We are here, still producing broadcasts from the safety of our home. We are going to talk about this historical roller coaster. A lot has happened because of this pandemic. Many things have been canceled, and sadly, we will not be returning to campus this school year. But that won't stop us from making an amazing broadcast for all of you. So let's get right into our first story. As you know, this year the McKee Media Group participated in the SIVA contest. And thankfully, three of our videos were nominated for an award this year. We worked very hard for two months, but sadly, none of our videos made it to first place, but we're still grateful to be nominated. Moving on to our next story. This pandemic has ruined many things that were planned, especially events happening at school, but probably worst of all, we'll be not celebrating Mr. Flink, Mrs. Mr. Lane, and Mrs. Crump, who will be retiring after the school year. We will miss them very much. We wanted to do so many things to honor their work here. We wish them all the best. Teachers are trying their best to make it understandable for students. Unfortunately, this also means that media will be very different. And we know you just love our broadcast every week. Now for our breaking news. My parents have been very frustrated with this distance learning and just overall with it, everything. I bet a lot of parents are feeling that way. Here's more about how our McKee parents have been dealing with this distance learning. Having multiple children at a different grade levels can be a tremendous challenge for parents. Zoom meetings, Google Classroom, homework, plus login issues and forgotten passwords can drive anyone crazy. Add to that, trying to work from home while doing all of these tasks, it is enough to stress anyone out. Today, we are talking with some parents about how they are dealing with this COVID-19 and sheltering in place. What are you most stressed out about social distancing and why? The thing that stresses me out the most about social distancing is the lack of outlet for the kids to get out and play with each other, play with their friends, get their wiggles out. They really miss their friends a lot. How is social distancing affecting your normal day routine? Well, it's completely changed our daily routine. Um, myself and my husband are used to going to work every day and now that looks a lot different. It looks like going into the office or into the living room and logging into the computer. We've also become our kids' teachers. And it's one thing to check your homework. It's another thing to check every single daily assignment that you have to do, to check Google Classroom, and to make sure every box is marked off on the list. How are your kids being home all day, every day, making it difficult for you? Well, I love them. Let's make that very clear. But, um, you know, if they're home and I'm home, they think mommy's here to play with me and they're not used to me needing to work in the office all the time. So that's tricky and they miss their friends. So they want me to be their best friend all the time. And I still have to be Mrs. Williams. So that's kind of tricky, but we're making the best of it. 
let's check in and see how other parents are coping with this distance learning. Hey mama and papa bears, we did it. We made it through our first week of distance learning. I hope you guys are all hanging in there. During the day to kind of keep me sane, I wrote out a schedule. Do I stick to it? Not always, but it makes me feel a little bit better knowing it's there. At night, I've been taking care of myself by doing yoga every night. I think mommy juice helps a little bit too. Good morning, James McKee. We just finished our first week of distant learning. It was definitely a different experience, but we survived. I've been enjoying my time by sitting out in the pool in this warm weather. Cheers. Now for the news that's been on everyone's mind since it started, the COVID-19. This is a very crazy and unpredictable time, so it's important to stay safe and stay home. This virus has been affecting many, many people around us and everywhere, but it is important to be healthy and get your body moving. So go for a run around the neighborhood and work out in your backyard, but make sure to maintain distance with others and stay six feet apart at all times. Now here's Natalie and Kira with Around Town. Due to Zoom technical difficulties, we will be taking over for Kira and Natalie in Around Town. Hey, can I have some of that? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wait. Remember, we have to social distance. Oh yeah, here. around town segment we inform you about what is happening around town with social distancing and sheltering in place that pretty much shuts down anything that would be going on around town so instead of letting you know what is going on around town we are going to inform you about business owners in our James McKee families that you can support during these difficult times that's right Jane many of our McKee families past and present own small businesses in our area and are fighting to keep their doors open. That is why this segment is dedicated to support our McKee families. Absolutely. Not only does it take a village for education, it takes a village to lend a helping hand to those McKee families with small businesses. Let's get started. Mel Dog's Diner is a small business in Elk Grove that has roots in McKee. Located at 9766 Waterman Road, Elk Grove, Mel Dogs is preparing a barbecue dinner for, for this Saturday. Check out their Facebook page or call 916-686-4615. Better hurry, they sold out last week, so get on it right away. Wait, one second. Sorry, sorry. Located at 9766 Waterman Road, Elk Grove, Mel Dogs is preparing a barbecue dinner for, for this Saturday. Check out their Facebook page or call 916-686-4615. Better hurry, they sold out last week, so get on it right away. Above and Beyond Cakes is a local bakery specializing in custom wedding cakes. Well, like everything else, large gatherings, like weddings, are not socially acceptable at this time. So, no one is ordering cakes for the reception. I can't help. I'm too young to get married. You don't have to get married. Above and Beyond is going above and beyond. First, they are offering cinnamon rolls and pecan rolls every Friday and Saturday. Yes, get a six-pack or a 12-pack, but you have to order by Wednesday. Hey, that's today. To so pick up your order, either Friday or Saturday. Go to their website or email the owner to place your order. Daniel at aboveandbeyondcakes.com. Also, Mother's Day is coming up soon, and this year they are preparing a Mother's Day cookie kit for the kids to decorate. 
Each kit contains 12 cookies and everything you need to surprise your mom this Mother's Day. Better hurry, Mother's Day is almost here. Pizza Bell is selling personal pizza kits. Although not directly in the key family, Pizza Bell has helped with our fundraising efforts over the years and has had a direct connection to Joseph McKee Elementary. And let's face it, everybody loves pizza. Finally, Sleepy Sisters Mattress Company is a new business just starting out. What a time to get started. Well, if you're tired of your mattress and not getting the sleep you need, they have a deal for you. They want to give anyone in our McKee family a coupon opportunity and a donation for, to our PTO for each sale. Take 20% off your total order and McKee gets 10% back to the PTO. That is awesome. Just go to sleepysisters.com and use the code McKee at checkout. Wow, we double dipped on that one. Not only did we get to support a local business, but we saved our families' monies as well. If you know of a McKee family that owns a small business, please let us know so we can try to help. During this time of trouble, support our McKee family businesses. Back to you. Back to us. Kennedy Green. And I'm Justin Robert. As we look around campus, we see. There isn't much going on. That is probably due to no one being here. In fact, I'm not even here. So for today on campus news, we are going to be focusing on a great service being provided by our school. Since we don't have school, we can't do it around campus. But there's an Elk Grove Unified School District food service program. They're doing a food service program for kids. Our school is one of the 37 schools participating in the EGUSD food service program. All meals are available are available to children 18 and younger, no matter their attendance or if they have reduced eligibility. Meals will be served between 11 and 1 p.m. every day. Parents do not need to be present in order for children to receive these meals. For Campus News, I'm Kennedy Green. And I'm Justin Roberts. Back to you. social distancing, we've been unable to locate our book talk host, Nick and Fan. So, for book talk in this broadcast, we'll be having three kindergartners read some books. I am. I am running. I am jumping. I am building. I am climbing. I am dancing. I am swinging. I am sleeping. Little and small. I see a little bug. I see a big bug. Two. I see a Little frog. I see a big toad too. I see a big, I mean, little 
bird. I see a big bird too. I see a little kitten. I see a big cat too. I see a little dog. I see a big dog too. I see a little hoy. I see a big hoy too. I see a little kid. I see a big kid too. Can you do this? Can you scratch? Yes. Can you play? Yes. Can you hide? Yes. Can you catch? Yes. Can you stretch? Yes. Can you yawn? Yes. Can you sleep? Z Dogs, dog so. My dog can walk. My dog can thump. My dog can cast. My dog can sleep. My dog can sit. My dog can. My dog can swim. We like dogs. For weather, we have Ian Kidd. Hi, I'm Ian Kidd with the weather. Socially distancing from the Star Wars set in my room. Let's, let's take a look to see what the weather's like outside. <laughs> Well, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Back to you. Hi, I'm Joshua Wilkes. Still held up in my room due to social distancing, but I'm holding in there. And I'm Kara Hughes. With the lack of true sports, in today's segment, we'll be talking about that thrilling spectacle, the NFL Draft. In a blockbuster move, the 49ers traded their first round pick for the very next pick. And with that 14 overall pick, they drafted Javon Kinlaw, the defensive tackle from South Carolina University. The Raiders picked their first round pick, 12 overall on Henry Ruggs, a, a wide receiver from Alabama. I'm glad they drafted a really good wide receiver because they need as much help as they can get. Everyone was saying the 49ers were going to take a receiver in the first round and were surprised when they didn't at number 14. However, they had another trade up their sleeve and moved up six spots to draft Brandon Ayuk, a wide receiver from Arizona State University. The Raiders also had a second pick in their first round that they received from the Chicago Bears. With their second pick, they drafted Damon Arnett, a quarterback from Ohio State University. Neither the Niners or the Raiders had a single pick in the second round of the draft this year. However, the Raiders had three picks in the third round. With these three third-round picks, the Raiders took Lynn Bowden, a running back and wide receiver from Kentucky University, Brian Edwards, a wide receiver from South Carolina University, and Tanner Muse, who is a linebacker from Clemson University. Yet again, 
the Niners didn't have a pick, and even more of the same in the fourth round. However, the Raiders had two picks in the fourth round, and they took John Simpson, who was a guard from Clemson University, and Mick Robertson, a quarterback from a cornerback from Louisiana Tech University. With these picks, the Raiders' draft was done. For the 49ers, they still had three picks remaining in the fifth round. They chose an offensive tackle from West Virginia named Colton McKivitz. In the sixth round, they got Charlie Wilner, a tight end from Georgia University. And with their last pick in the seventh round, they took Jawan Jennings, who was a wide receiver from Tennessee University. And that's it for the 2020 NFL Draft. And nobody got to go to. For the 2020 NFL Draft, I'm Tara Hughes. And I'm Joshua Wilkes. I miss sports. Back to you. Three. Who's talking first? Sorry. Uh, Okay. Three, two. So remember, stay home, stay safe, and wash your hands. For Bear News Network, I'm Kara Hughes. And I'm Jane Nadra. Hope to see you staying home and staying safe. Thank Thank you. you.